And Zimbabwe haven't qualified for a Rugby World Cup in over 30 years, but that may be about to change. The country's under-20 team, known as the Junior Sables, won Africa's Barthes Trophy earlier this year, raising hopes that the good times may be coming back. Farai Wakatuya has more from Harare. The Junior Sables' recent success has pleasantly surprised their coach. Sean D'Souza's plan of tapping into an expanded talent pool of school leavers and first-year university students has paid off earlier than expected. We sort of uh, stuck to our efforts of capturing the heart behind the jersey and uh, that seems to be our, our platform that has worked. It worked in year one, uh, winning the first title. We actually didn't intend to win. Our plan was just to go there and compete and try and improve our rankings from the sixth place that we were at. That experience that we had from the youngsters that had gone to that competition then took us through this year, uh, where we won uh, resoundingly. At least seven players who participated in this year's Barthes Trophy will be eligible next year and will form the backbone of a team chasing a hat-trick of titles. The last two years of dominance have generated optimism in rugby circles that perhaps this crop of players may go on to represent the senior men's team and help Zimbabwe get back to the World Cup again. Administrators are working on a plan to keep the group together and playing regularly. We're now trying to create an under-23 side so that that under-20 team uh, just moves seamlessly into an under-23 um, uh, side that we continue, with, that we will play uh, in a, as, as a Zim A side or as, as a Goshok side, but in preparation uh, for, 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 the, for the national uh, assignments. However, long-term success depends on adequate financial resources being made available. I'm employed. I'm in, uh, I'm in marketing. Uh, I, I'm, I have an 8-to-5 job. Um, I think we need to make a decision where we take this as a, as a serious profession. And uh, if I had to uh, take my team and uh, go out and, and grind, work on a plan uh, to build this, this age group and uh, sort of build a team for 2027 World Cup, uh, we have to do this full time. Uh, so investment is definitely key. Uh, we need the support from government, we need the support from uh, the corporates uh, to come and invest in this program. Zimbabwe's last Rugby World Cup appearance was back in 1991. Farai Makutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.